Shares of Universal Health Services jumped more than 3.5% today. The hospital management company got a shot in the arm after two analysts raised their price targets for the stock. UHS also posted better than expected results late yesterday, and the shares are up a very healthy 30% year to date. Joining us now is Alan Miller, Chairman and CEO of Universal Health Services. Mr. Miller, welcome. Good to have you with us. You know, there are, you. there are a lot of unknowns in the Affordable Care Act, but one of the factors that apparently is not an unknown is that there are going to be a lot more patients, customers for you, who have insurance. How much is that going to help your business and affect your bottom line? It's going to help our business tremendously. I think what you talked about, the analysts raising our expectations and our price targets, uh, we're going to see 31 million people that have not had coverage before, and it's going to have a good effect um, on our bad debt. So that's going to go down. So that's going to be excellent. And one of the things that most people don't know is that there's going to be a, a lot of coverage going into the mental health area because there is a parity law. If you have uh, coverage of, ment of uh, acute care, uh, mental health must match it. And so a lot of the small plans haven't had that, and now they'll be obligated to have a mental health uh, capacity. And that's going to be tremendous for us. Maybe another 31 million people will be covered as well. So we're very bullish about that. Alan, talk to us a little bit about what patients, the consumers, can expect in this new world of health care with the landscape uh, changing. It, you know, one of the big questions always is, is about quality of care. Is it going to get better or is it going to go down? And what can we expect in terms of what we have to pay for medical care services? Well, I think that uh, one of the uh, sort of misleading things when the plan was sold was that premiums will go down. I think premiums are going up from everything we read, because of extended coverage, premiums are going to be going up. We are working very diligently to make sure that our quality uh, is as high as it's ever been. And the government is helping that with some payments uh, related to quality. So it's going to be more costly, uh, but there's going to be no diminishment in quality at all. And we're going to have extensive coverage of the population. Uh, as I mentioned, about 60 million people, which is really a very good thing for them and certainly a very good thing for us. What would be the one thing, Mr. Miller, that would do the most to retard the growth in health care spending in the United States? Well, uh, there's a complicated answer. It really comes around to the transition uh, from just a number of volume procedures to some sort of a bundled payment uh, where you'd have an organized uh, coordination between doctors and providers. And that's what uh, an ACO is intended to do. It would take a number of years to bring it about, but that's the only way I can see that you would get away from this continual escalation in costs. Yeah, you know, the thing that's always surprises me about healthcare is that in almost any other industry, you see prices coming down, you know, whether it's a, a cell phone that's very expensive years ago and now it's so cheap. But in healthcare, no matter how much technology, no matter how much innovation, prices keep going up. Yeah, but life is better. I mean, I think that's what the trade-off is. Uh, there was an article today in the New York Times about uh, pharmacology uh, uh, helping to solve some of the problems with certain cancers. And uh, we're getting a lot for the dollar, but it is going up. Uh, but people are living better lives and longer lives. All right, Mr. Miller, thank you very much for being with us. We appreciate it. You're Al welcome. Alan Miller, CEO of Universal Health Services.